Arowana is one of my favorite fish. Uh, I've been targeting them for the last 10 years at least, trying to understand them, where they're hiding, what do they want. Arowana, they are normally very shy fish, so uh, when you approach the water, try to go slow. But they are shy only when they see you. And most of the time, they are hiding near structures, under the trees. They are actually very surface fish, waiting for things to drop down from the trees, insects, you know, fish running past. But one thing about them is when they don't see you, when your lure drop in the water, they are very aggressive. They will smack your lure in one straight turn. So arowana hit is very different. You can feel them like hit and run. It's like hitting a train. But the thing is they are not as powerful but they are fast. It's always exciting catching arowana because of their acrobatic jump. All right, I'm not I'm not exaggerating, but they jump so high. All right, they always throw hooks. They shake your hooks off. No matter how good hooks you you use, you know, when you hit a few arowana, there will be some that throw hooks. That's for sure. There's no hooks. I I don't think I found any hooks that can really lock them in and 100% not losing them. Why do we need a sieve rod with uh, sharp hooks? Because of the mouth, it's really bony. They got a very bony jaw. So you're lucky if you hook onto the hook onto the tongue or hook onto this 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 part. The tongue is right here in the center here. You're lucky if you punch through, hold it up. I mean, hold on to it. If not, you know, all the bony part is very hard to hook up. Right. So hooks is very important. Uh, sharp hooks uh, with a nice angle, you know, a, a longer shank one normally it works better because we are using like surface lure uh, minnows that don't dive more than one meter. But these are the these are the lures that uh, arowana like the bone hover jet, the entice and uh, arowana are suckers for the prop mode actually for uh, hover jet. So normally I'll turn on the prop mode, slow crank, they'll follow the plopping sound, come straight to it and whack it. And a short rod like this with a fast action, you can actually hook up an arrow quite well. One of the rod I like to uh, mention is the uh, Voyage Expedition PEC604H. It's a 6 feet rod, PE1 to 2.5. You can cast from uh, like as light as 10 gram to 40 gram. That's just nice for the uh, fishing here for the length. It's not a type of parabolic rod. It's actually, you see, it's only from the tip. Only the tip is uh, it's flex for you to cast uh, the lures. And then it's very nice for you to work the lures because it's short, it don't touches the water when you're standing on the ground. Just nice, you can do a pitch cast. You really don't actually hit a lot of uh, uh, the vegetation at the back. And then you can do a full swing. So in this sort of condition, the short rod. Once I catch a fish, I'll set a hook in 
with this fast action rod, I can easily set my 4x hooks into the uh, bony jaw of the uh, arowana and actually uh, scow it, scow drag it back. That's uh, that's one advice for you guys. The the lesser time in the water, the more chance you're gonna land an arrow because of the jump. The more you let it be in the water, the more it's gonna jump. So for arowana fishing is really exciting. Even if you find them, you hook them up, you might not land them. That's the exciting part of uh, catching the aro an arowana. So you know, whenever I land them, it's like a trophy catch. It's like happy. It's like I can catch arowana again, again, and again, and I feel happy <laughs> all the time. The excitement is still there. Once it hit the jump, everything is so exciting. you guys can try target the arowana and uh, feel the same excitement as me when you catch one. Good luck guys. Yarrow dream. <laughs>